Hey yo, welcome to the 13th tutorial. We're gonna learn about positioning in this tutorial, such as setting div behind some other text or having it pop up like an Xbox notification on the top of your browser up here, something like that. It's gonna be pretty cool. Again, this is more of a fundamental tutorial than anything sweet for this website that saves koala bears. What's going on guys? In this tutorial we're going to learn about positioning. I'm just going to jump right into it because it might take a little bit of time. What we're going to do first is create a new element. It's going to be a div element that we learned about in the last tutorial. So again, for review, this is a block element. And this is just going to be a simple notification. And we're going to learn about positioning this within the screen in different places. So what we want to do first is give this a class name. And we're just going to give this a class name of a notification. And also we're going to give it another class name. So that's something you can do. You can do multiple class names for one element. And we're also going to give this the name of static. So let's save this and jump over to our CSS. Let's define our notification class first. So again, dot notification. And what we're going to do is just have a uh, background, not black round. Yeah, crazy uh, background color, color of green or light green, uh, lawn green, light green. Yeah, let's do that. And then we'll, we'll also set like a width of 300 pixels and a height of 100 pixels. Just something nice and simple. Uh, so that's for our notification class. You can kind of expect what that's going to look like. But let's go into our static class. And this is what we're going to do for our positioning. By default, all of our elements have the position of static when we put them on the page. So this is really going to do nothing um, different. It's going to be exactly as you expect. Let's go to our web browser and scroll down to the page. As you can see, it's just a block like you'd expect and it's just uh, nothing great. But for example, um, let's say we wanted to actually change the position of this over to the left a little bit or over to the right or up or down. What we can do instead is actually use something called relative positioning. And this is going to be relative to where it would be statically on our page. So let's create a new class called dot relative. We can say move this to the left by like 50 pixels. So let's save this, go to our uh, HTML and change our class name to be relative now. And it didn't do anything because we forgot to give it the actual position of relative. Even though our class name is relative, we want to give it uh, the relative position. So let's save this, go back to our page and reload it now. And as you can see, it moved 50 pixels from where the left originally would be. If we actually wanted to move it left, we could either do left negative 50 pixels or right 50 pixels and that shifted over this way. So that's a way to fine tune where we actually want the position of this notification. But let's say we want it to be something like an Xbox achievement. And no matter where we are on a page, whether we're scrolling up or down, it's always relative to where our browser window is. And we can do that with something called fixed positioning. So we're going to try and get it to be up here in the top right of our screen with something called fixed positioning again. So let's give this a new class name. We're going to say fixed and we're going to give this the position of fixed. We'll start out with that first so we don't forget it. And let's say we want from the top of the screen, we want it to move down 50 pixels and we want it to move from the right of the screen 50 pixels as well. So let's go to our index.html and change our fixed positioning and see how this works. Save everything, go back to our page, reload it, and you have a nice notification. Whether you're scrolling or not, it's gonna stay right there. And we could add an X and close that out with some JavaScript eventually, but uh, again, this tutorial is just on CSS positioning. So that's pretty much the core concept that I want to talk about in this tutorial. But let's go back real quickly and uh, change this to be relative positioning. We're going to learn about one other thing in this tutorial. So we're going to say relative position and we're going to change the CSS of what relative is. So we, let's move it up on our screen. We're going to move it again to the right a little bit and we're going to say top. Let's move this negative 100 pixels up. So we're going to save everything, go back and reload our page. And as you can see, we're above our previous text um, because it's lower on the page. But let's say we actually wanted this to be behind this text as well. And that's something that you can do in CSS, obviously. Um, but how you do that is by defining what the Z index is. And the higher the Z index, the closer to you 
it's going to be. Um, so it's closer to your face if you think of it as a three-dimensional world. Um, but if we wanted to go behind that text, we'd have to have a negative index. So we're just going to give this a negative index of one, save it, and go back to our page and reload it. And as you can see, um, by default, the z-index is pretty much zero. Um, but if we have a z-index of this class being a negative one, it's going to be behind those elements. If we had multiple overlays, for example, a notification or a pop-up, and we wanted certain ones to be in front of the other ones, we'd have to define that by the z-index and keep things nice and organized. So again, guys, a quick tutorial, uh, learning some cool things that we're going to eventually use. And I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great rest of your day.